the fact is, uh, America has such a long and rich history of cases of mass hysteria that I began thinking, you know, if you were to take this same phenomenon, something like the monkey man, and drop it into the middle of Brooklyn, the results would be uh, a thousand times more devastating, but just as you know, just as effective and just as insane. I recalled Orson Welles' War of the Worlds <laughs> while I was reading your book. Absolutely, that's a very good example. But even more recently, and uh, uh, here in here in New York, we had the um, the Ninja Burglar on Staten Island. If you remember that mm-hmm. from a few from a few years ago, where. Uh, someone reported seeing a man dressed like a ninja who was robbing their house, and he leapt out of a third-floor building and landed unharmed and ran away. And suddenly, over the course of a year, year and a half, everyone who was robbed on Staten Island, whether they saw the robber or not, had been robbed by the ninja burglar until the police came out and held a press conference. Ray Kelly came out and said, well, the ninja burglar has left town. And that stopped things for about a year. And then they started up again. And um, it didn't last nearly as long until the police came out and said, well, the ninja burglar was actually a, a, a group of Albanian gangsters, and they've all been deported. And that stopped things. So I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for him to come back. I kind of like the ninja burglar. Why, Jim, did you associate your creature with the Gowanus Canal? Why not another <laughs> polluted New York City waterway like the Newtown Creek? Well, I used to live near the Gowanus, and I had a friend who lived near the who lived half a block off the Gowanus, and. Um, Ever since I moved here, even before I knew what it was, even before I knew the story of the Gowanus, uh, I remember I had been in town for maybe, this is 20 years ago, uh, I had been in town for about a week, and I was walking over the Gowanus, and uh, looked down, and I thought, this is beautiful. You know, this is uh, this is this is fascinating, and I bet if I were to drop a lit cigarette in you know, off this bridge, and it hit that water, the whole place would go up. I've always been fascinated by just this grotesquely polluted waterway. 